Hi, welcome to Crafted Sweetly. Thanks so much for being here. In this video, I'd like to show you this quick project and how to add a quick frame to your photo, whether it's just a natural look, making it look like it's a chrome, or a floating photo. So let's get right into it. For this fun craft, I am using this basket flat reed and use the main making baskets. It does come in different widths. I got this for a different project, but then had so much that I had to figure out something else to do with it. So this is what I'll be using for this craft. And I do have links below for all the various supplies that I'm using for this. This is the first thing. Um, that I'll be using. Then acetate is what you need if you choose to do a floating image and art glitter glue. My go-to glue for pretty much everything. So select the photo you want to use and it can really be any size. I'm using these 4x4 four four photos. Um, I got these printed at Walmart because they do these 4x4 four four. and I do have another project where I use the 4x4 four four photo. So if you need that size, um, it, that's where I get them printed. If you want to do a floated one, I cut out a piece of acetate that is larger than the photo. And the photos 4x4, I did an acetate that is 6x6. Six six. And I'm using the mat here in order to center this. That way I make sure that uh, on, based on the grid lines that this is going to go exactly in the center and I'm not off. I mean, you can certainly do it at an angle if you choose to, if you don't want to have it exactly centered. So by all means, be creative with it. I will stick to putting this right in the middle and I'll put for this just some glue on the back. I do want to make sure that I have glue right along the edges of the photo. Then I'm, I have this right in the middle of based on the grid line and then I'm going to place this right in the center. Now you are going to be able to see the glue on the back. Um, you can take another piece of white cardstock and glue it to the back if you wish to hide that. Now for the next step, I need to cut some of this reed. I'm just going to cut the long piece of it off so that it's easier to work with. And I just use scissors for that. It does cut pretty easily. This frame is, I've got six inches here, so I want it to be longer than this rather than exactly the six inches. So let's say we'll add another inch to each one. So I'm going to do eight inches for this. And I do like to cut this at, a, at an angle. It just gives it a little more interest than straight. And I need four pieces like this. Now, if you want to make it longer on one side and shorter on the other, that's fine also. All right, so I've cut out four of these um, basket flat reed. And that's gonna, this is going to be glued right along the edge of the plastic. Now, instead of doing the glue onto the reed, I'm going to put glue on the edge of the plastic because the, I know the length of it. If I put this here, I don't know exactly where to start to make sure that I have it right at the edge. So I'm just going to add glue right at the edge. Not a lot because you don't want it to ooze out too much. And then I will place it back on here and then use my mat as a guide so that this is centered. And then I'll pick it up. I want to make sure that this is flush here. Put it over to the side and I'm going to do this side opposite. Instead of going in a circle, that way I can have two this way and two this way on top as opposed to kind of weaving them. And for this one, I am going to put some glue right on top of the wood because I want to make sure that it's also glued to the wood. The, uh, the cross pieces. If it looks like it doesn't want to stick, you can put something heavy right on top of it to make sure that it stays put. See, this is kind of wants to separate, so you can add something heavy right on top. 
I'll use this bottle of Mod Podge on one end and that over there. So now that's in position. Keeps it in place so that it's just enough. It doesn't take long for the art glitter glue to stick. And I'll do this side in the meantime. Just gonna do these tiles and this is actually another project that I did that had the photos on tiles with resin so be sure to check that out as well. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes for it to set. Now while this is setting I wanted to show you a different this is the natural look to the wood here. What you can do is you can color so using a chrome marker like this You can color the wood to give it a chrome look to it. So you would just color this in before you glue it down just so you don't get it on the plastic. And this is what the chrome looks like. This is a really cool pen. It works great on non-porous surfaces so it doesn't soak up and it gives you this mirror effect to it. So once this sets then we just need to add the attachment to it and I wanted to show you a couple different options. So here's one that I did not apply to acetate. I applied the reed directly to the photo and then I just use a little bit of 1 8 inch ribbon to attach to the back with some glue and I did add a little bit of tape just to make sure. Um, but this is to the back of it and right against the photo. Now for this one, what another way you can do it is um, I'm using this crocodile and I'm just going to punch a hole in the reed. I want to make sure that I have this centered where I'm punching it out. So it's going to be right where the... I'm just going to use the crocodile and add a tiny hole right at the top of it. Here is another one that I did, the same effect with the acetate as the outer frame to give it that floating effect and then I punch the hole right in the center of the reed using this crocodile and then you just actually this makes a smaller hole you just place it on and it creates a nice little hole right in the center just like this I'll show you on this one you just need to make sure that it's centered and then it creates a hole like this and then just attach some string to it. And then this is the frame if you choose to add the chrome effect to the wood, which I think is pretty awesome also because it kind of makes the photo stand out. It doesn't blend in as much for this. But for this one, I think the natural look is beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you end up making it, whichever type of design. I would love to see your project in my Facebook group. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next project.